So I'd like to tell you all a little story. It's a story that is true. My little sister started out as a hairdresser. It's what she loved to do. She practiced on just about all of us. We were the mannequins of choice. She is still a pretty good hairdresser. But she doesn't do that anymore as a profession of her choice. She doesn't do that anymore. But she's had lots of jobs and none of them were beneath her. Lots of jobs. We were taught to do as you had to do. There wasn't anything that was below you. shown a kind of work ethic that was sound and we practiced it in our living hell for all four of us are giving I think I'm proud of my sisters and this is about the youngest one as I said she had many jobs but for more than 20 years, maybe 25, maybe, she's been an entrepreneur. She is a proprietor of her own little restaurant. And in these days of COVID, it's actually not little because she was fortunate that there was room to stretch things out and have two meters between tables. She was able to make it larger and even had to hire more people. I felt such pride in my sister that day that I heard Her restaurant is called KZ Side Cafe And there are a few people from the West here Who have sat down at her table And eaten the food that she's cooked for them And it is real It's not home-style baking homemade food. She makes her own bread, three different kinds. Pita bread, she cooks so her own turkeys and roasts and they also make their own soup. She has fish and chips on, I think it's Thursdays or Fridays. I'm not sure which day, because I have been there for a long time. And it's good, everything that she makes. And everyone understood that she has gifts. She shares with the people there. At Kay's Cafe, you are always welcome. They are a wonderful group of women who work with her. She doesn't consider them anything but friends and family. That's who she works with. She's only the boss when there's a spot of trouble. She is a good, good soul. She's a friend of mine, Debbie's and Della's. 
Karen is a good, good soul, and she's married to a good, good soul as well. And Ken is his name, and so the K in K's Cafe, I think it stands for three. You see, my mom used to be called K. It was spelled K-A-Y as a name from her nieces and nephews. And Karen and Ken both start with a K. So they named their cafe after them all. It's just K apostrophe S. K's East Side Cafe. And most people just call it K's. And they have things on the menu like homemade beans. Oh my word. Brown bread. Don't mistake it for whole wheat. It's brown raisin brown bread. Then they have whole wheat bread, homemade white, makes their own pita bread, um, soup. Um, they have what they call supreme, supreme, well they're, they were start out as a potato and you cut them into little cubes and cook them with onions and peppers and sometimes they put cheese on it and the gravy, supreme hush browns, there you go. And they have one specialty dish that's called the Swede. And uh, that's what they used to call my dad, because he was a big guy, a woodsman, worked in the woods. And the Swede is uh, three eggs, two pieces of bacon, two sausage, two pieces of ham, home fries, toast, and coffee. <laughs> I don't know too many people who can eat all that, but some people order it. Yeah, the Swede. Proud of you, Karen. Proud of you, Ken. And all the, all the gals that have gone through that place, and worked with Karen, and all the girls, women who work with Karen now. I just can't say all your names in case I forget somebody and hurt somebody's feelings, and I don't want to do that, because you're really good people. Case is a place where people come to see the staff they know by name. The gals will see someone coming And they'll say Karen put on the moon Cause they know exactly what this person wants There's someone who likes porridge A little lumpy or a little uh, runny Somebody else likes their toast just light And there's someone who likes their eggs runny And someone who doesn't want them to at all and someone who wants a, a bite of beans, but not a whole lot, not a whole lot. Karen makes the best burger on the spot, and Nat and Dennis and Darlene and Shawnee and Yvonne. Because Shawnee and Yvonne know my family because they looked after my dad when he was in the Broadview Hospital. This is getting to be quite a long song. You might not want to listen to it and you don't have to, but it's my song, I guess. It's Karen's song. This is for Kay's. I'm proud of the whole lot of you. The whole, the whole kit and caboodle. 
who works there, who is a patron there. Uh, when they had to shut down the first time and then they got to, be, to reopen, there was a fellow who drives truck and uh, he got in touch with Karen and he bought everybody's breakfast who came back for the, for the first time after the pandem pandemic shut them down. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. They're, um, yeah, they're friends with uh, a lot of the people who go there and they're, they're patrons and they take things to their ho homes when they're sick and they're good people. I'm proud of you. All of you. All of you. You know who you are. And you know how much I love you. Kay's East Side Cafe on Rossa Avenue East in St. John, New Brunswick. How's that for a plug? Love you.